Hello, year tens. Well, if you click this link and you've got your booklet open, that means you're revising. So, well done. So, you need to open up this booklet and first of all, you need to go through forces and motion facts. So, you've got simple questions that relate to the objectives in the specifications, and over here are the answers. So, this is basically factual knowledge. So, what you can do with these is bold and then just read test repeat so if we scroll down what you'll find is we have some questions and what we're going to do is we're going to go through some of these questions just a few work examples and then we will move on in this video and we will go through some of the distance time graphs which if you scroll down are here which uh, and we'll do a couple of these so we'll have a look at these um we'll do a couple of the questions relating to those and then in the next video it will be velocity acceleration and velocity time graphs and then uh, converting miles per hour and kilometers per hour to meters per second in the next video and then some force equals ma newton second law questions just short videos hopefully so right moving on then so hopefully yeah it's working all right so some questions so we do is we'll do question one c we'll do the medium one uh, question and then we'll do C again, and then we'll do one of these from down here, possibly uh, uh, this one, question number nine. Okay, so I think you have seen and done some of these in class. Oh, it is revision after all. So here we go. So question one, one C. So work out the speed of a car traveling on a straight track or 100 meters, that's equal to distance, and 10 seconds. So 10 seconds is equal to time. So my power equation, so speed is equal to distance over time, which is equal to 100 divided by 10, which is equal to 10. So our speed is 10 meters per second. So if you don't put the units on, you'll lose your mark. So question number to see okay so how far does a bus move if it's traveling at a meter uh, 12 meters per second for 180 seconds so how far so i'm after distance which is displacement so speed well the speed is 12 meters per second in this case and the uh, time is 180 seconds now my equation Speed equal to distance over time. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to insert. So I've got 12 is equal to distance over 180. So I want to make 180. Uh, I want to move that to the other side, so I'll, I'll leave distance as our subject. So I'm making D distance the subject. So if I times both sides by 180, it will cancel on the right hand side. So just have a look at that. 12 is equal to D over 180. So if I times both sides by 180, then that will cancel and that will leave us with 180 times 12, and that's equal to D. So our answer is, times 12 and that's 2160 meters so now moving on to a hard question and we'll do question number nine so question number nine well 
question number nine states, we'll go back to using bug FIFA. So a car travels 100 kilometers in 90 minutes, calculate its speed. So calculate its speed. This is the data I've got. So uh, car travels 100, car travels 180 kilometers. So the distance is equal to 100 kilometers. And the time is equal to 90 minutes. Okay. So what I'm going to now do is I'm going to change these to 100 units. So distance needs to be in meters. So 100 kilometers is 100 times 1,000. So it's 100,000. 100 kilometers. So that's 100,000 meters. So, or 100 times 10 to the 3 meters. 90 minutes is 90. Well, times you know, 60 minutes times 60. So that's going to be equal to five thousand four hundred seconds. So now we've got speed is equal to distance over time. We now insert and we have a hundred times ten to the three divided by five four zero zero which will give me Eighteen point five one eight. So we'll just call it eighteen point five meters per second, uh, which sounds about reasonable. Thirty-six miles an hour, really, or thereabouts. So now moving on, we're going to quickly look at the distance time graphs. So what we've got here distance time. So this line here represents well the gradient. So that gradient here, let's just take that one there. That's the gradient there is equal to the change in y over the change in x, which in our case is equal to the change in distance over the change in time which is actually speed. So this gradient represents speed. So this one here, it's a flat line. So no change in distance over time, so it's stop, no motion. So it's got to be A. Now B, well, uh, I'll let you do B. We'll just move on to, let's just do E. Well, this one starts off with a steep line. That must mean the gradient is steep, so that must mean the speed is high, and then it starts to get less. So the speed is high, and it starts to get less, so the vehicle is slowing down. So that one's going to be E. There we go. So now we just move on to the calculating speeds. So what we're going to do is we're going to choose a couple of points in our graph. Now, we need to find the change in distance and the change in time. OK, and I'll just do this one. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this point here. So I've got two here, and I'm going to move that across here to there. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take eight. There we go. So my change in time here is going to be six. So that's six. Here then, I've also got the distance of eight. So I've got a change in distance of eight minus two, which is six. So what I've got is a gradient, which is equal, well, a change in y is 6 divided by the change in x, which is 6, which is 1. So in actual fact, the speed is 1 meter per second. OK, so right now, I'll leave you to finish. <laughs>